guys, welcome to another video from Reviews on Anything. My name is Peter and in this video we're doing a side-by-side -side comparison between the leather and the carbon fiber speed wallet from the Frenchie Call. Now interestingly I looked it up uh, almost exactly three years ago to the day I uh, got this wallet and made a video about it and I've been using it ever since. And this week I have been testing their carbon fiber speed wallet offering. So I thought it would be interesting to put them side by side and see what the differences are. Now the big one obviously is that this one is made of carbon fiber and this one is made of leather. So let's just get that out of the way right away. Very different materials and a very different product as a consequence of that. Now where things get a bit more interesting is on the inside. So let's uh, put them like this, hopefully it fits in the frame, and start opening them up. So this is the first stage, so you will, uh, of interacting with the wallet. Uh, that's not too shocking, but it is at the second stage where things get interesting and things start to change a little bit uh, between the wallets. Now you can see that there is an extra pocket here in the leather wallet. Uh, you can use that for business cards, uh, for example, uh, or bank cards or anything else, cards that you might not use so often. Uh, but you could also use this uh, to put a few coins in or a bit of change. That pocket is absent here on the carbon fiber wallet, uh, so you have no options uh, for any kind of extra cards, business cards or coins. Uh, so that's definitely different. Now with both wallets uh, you can stick your bills under the little flap here and then have access to them when you roll the wallet back up again. The problem here is that the 5 euro bill in this case is too short, uh, so it, it's covered completely, but as you can see the 50 euro bill is big enough uh, so you can still pull it out without having to unroll the whole wallet. So the same thing with the letter option. Uh, so as far as that goes, uh, they're both the same. You can see that they're also pretty similar in length. The carbon fiber one is slightly longer, but it's also due to the slightly different end design here on the leather one. Now, so the flap is uh, not available here, um, but other than that, uh, they still function pretty much the same way. So they have uh, pull tabs here on the top to get your bank cards out. And they both have two layers of pull tabs. One layer is RFID protected, the other one isn't. Um, so, you know, they're access card friendly and they both work the same way there. And then you can also see that they have, uh, hopefully you can see it on camera, some logos uh, throughout the wallet. The carbon fiber one has the Frenchy Co written here, the leather one doesn't, so maybe there's an evolution in design because this is a three-year-old wallet, like I already said. So they're very similar in terms of what they uh, do and what they offer, um, albeit that this leather one, like I showed you, has the little extra flap here in the middle for your cards, business cards, or a coin, what the carbon fiber one doesn't have. So if you want to carry a few coins, this is certainly possible with the leather one. Uh, with the carbon fiber one, that is certainly not an option. Another thing that makes them very similar though is the quality. Both of these wallets are expensive. There's no way around it. Uh, they cost a lot of money, but for that you do get a very, very premium product experience. Carbon fiber is obviously uh, expensive to uh, buy, expensive to make, and expensive to you know shape into a wallet form. Uh, this leather one is all very high quality leather as well, making it you know an expensive material just purely based on uh, raw resources. Uh, but then you start looking at the fit and finish and the fact that this wallet is three years old and there's not a single thread that has come off or a single thing that has come loose uh, is really a testament on the quality of this leather one. Uh, the same thing uh, cannot be said for the carbon fiber one yet because I only got that this week uh, but you can already tell that it's the same super high quality stitching, super high quality uh, fit and finish overall of the wallet uh, and I think that will easily stand the test of time as well just like this leather one. Uh, now obviously, you know, uh, leather is still a natural product, so you can, if I put it in the light, maybe see that there are blemishes and scratches and creases on the leather. Uh, just, just, you know, an effect of using it so often. Uh, but, you know, if, considering I've used this wallet every single day uh, for three years straight, uh, I think it is looking very, very well. Um, no worries though, because uh, the Frenchy Code does offer a pretty generous warranty on all its products, so you know, no issues whatsoever. It is a bit of peace of mind and it also shows the confidence uh, that they have that they are delivering high quality products. So that's a quick look uh, at the two speed wallets, the leather one next to the carbon fiber offering. A slightly different but very much the same in basic concept. Uh, and both wallets that I really enjoy using. This one for the last three years, like I said, and this one only for the past week. Uh, but I think this, for now, this will be my current daily driver. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, definitely check out if the Frenchy Co. has something to offer for you. Uh, always subscribe to the channel as well because that helps us out a lot. And until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers!